doing everyone and welcome once again to the daily Baptist Bread devotional and scripture song singing for today and also we'll be going through the book of Hosea we'll be in chapter 7 today but um, let's go ahead and uh, give you the title of this uh, devotional for the 7th day of June Sunday and it's titled the grace of God but first before we get into that we're going to do today's scripture song amen for the 7th and it is from Psalm 19, 7 through 11. And it says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. And so I'm going to press play here, and we'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty, and he's going to uh, give us the scripture song again. Well, he's going to read it first, so I know I read it, so he's going to read it now. And then we'll get started with the singing, amen? So we'll do this a couple times and then jump into the topic of the grace of God. Amen. All right, so let me press Psalms the, 19, go. 7 to 11. Amen. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and a honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Amen. Here we go. The love of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The me desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The truth of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord are pure, is pure, enlightening the eyes. What should be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. More desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. By them is thy servant born, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Only other than honey and the honeycomb. Amen. All right, let's uh, do that one more time. Psalms 19, 7 through 11. Praise the Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect. It sure is. The, soul. the testimony of the Lord is sure. That's right. Making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. Amen. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine, fine gold. gold, sweeter also, also than, than honey, honey and the and honeycomb. honeycomb. Amen. Moreover, by them is thy so servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. reward. Okay, so let's uh, sing this. Amen. The Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. 
gonna be desired are they then gold, yea, then much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The mysteries of the Lord I write, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. More than be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, they than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Lord, by them is thy servant born, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Lord, your honest and honey, and the honeycomb. Amen. All right, so put that back to the beginning, and we'll do that uh, scripture song a couple more times, along with a review scripture song from uh, earlier on. From this month, I know we're only on the seventh day, but uh, we'll do a scripture song review also, along with the new one today, uh, a couple more times. But now let's go ahead and get into this topic for Sunday, June 7th, and it's titled, The Grace of God. And it says here in 1 Corinthians 15.10, But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and His grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. 1 Corinthians 15.10 And our author today is D.C. That is the initials for... Let's see, D.C. That would be Dennis Cor Corley. C-O-R-L-E. Corley. He is an evangelist from Claysburg, P.A. Amen. And so, looks like we have a little poem here. He wrote down, uh, it says here, The matchless grace of Christ, my Lord, creates a moat about me the devil cannot ford. It can raise the vilest of men from disgrace. It provided sacrifice for the whole human race. I am what I am by the grace of God. It's good from salvation to the great beyond it's greater than all my sin and strife it's greater than all the needs of this life amen grace is needed all the way the grace to stand the grace to pray grace to learn to sacrifice grace to win the lost to christ grace to love and grace to die grace to go when others won't try grace to continue when others quit, grace to be Christ-like, when in our face they spit. His grace grace is sufficient, regardless of trouble. When things are unbearable, his grace seems to double. Grace buries our sin in the deepest sea. Grace spans the gap between God and me. Amen. Praise the Lord. That was a good little uh, poem that you wrote there. Amen. So... Praise the Lord. All right. Well, that was uh, a short, sweet little uh, devotional there about the grace of God. Praise the Lord. So, all right. Well, now we'll put that aside for right now, and we'll grab our Bible, and we will read uh, today's chapter, chapter 7 from the book of Hosea. So if you have your Bible handy, and turn along with me, and we'll read Hosea chapter 7. Amen. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Chapter 7 and verse 1 says, When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Samaria, for they commit falsehood, and the thief cometh in, and the troop of robbers spoileth without. 
when they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own doings have beset them ab about. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness and the princes with their lies. They are all adulterers as an oven heated by the baker who ce ceaseth, ceaseth from raising after or ri raising after his uh, hath, after he hath kneaded the dough until it be leavened in the day of our king the princes have made him sick with bottles of wine he stretched out his hand with scorners mm. for they have made ready their heart like an oven whiles they lie in wait their baker sleepeth all the night in the morning it burneth as a flaming fire they are all hot as an oven and have devoured their judges all their kings are fallen there is none among them that calleth un unto me ephraim he hath mixed himself among the people ephraim is a cake not turned oh uh, strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth not. And the pride of Israel testifieth to his face, and they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. They call in call to Egypt. They go to Assyria. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. Wow. <laughs> I will ch uh, chastise them as their congregation hath heard. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, Yet they have spoken lies against me, and they have not cried unto me with their heart. When they howled upon their beds, they assemble themselves for corn and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They return, but not to the Most High. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. Th this shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Yikes. So that was chapter 7, and that was the Lord speaking. <clears throat> uh, so that is what uh, is going on in that chapter. And Lord willing, tomorrow we'll uh, do chapter 8. Amen. So let me go ahead and read this poem to you one more time because it was really good. All right, so uh, let's see here. He says, um, The matchless grace of Christ, my Lord, creates a moat about me the devil cannot ford. It can raise the vilest of men from disgrace, yet provided sacrifice for the whole human race. I am what I am by the grace of God. It's good from salvation to the great beyond. It's greater than all my sin and strife. It's greater than all the needs of my life. Grace is needed all the way. The grace to stand, the grace to pray. Grace to learn, to sacrifice. Grace to win, the lost to Christ. Grace to live and grace to die. Grace to go when others won't try. Grace to continue when others quit. Grace to be Christ-like when in our face they spit. His grace is sufficient regardless of trouble. With or When things are unbearable, his grace seems to double. Grace buries our sin in the deepest sea. Grace spans the gap between God and me. And that grace is found through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. So you can have his grace if you'll just believe on him. And he will save your soul. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and sing this scripture song again for today from psalm 19 verses 7 through 11 amen good scripture song today all right press play here psalms 19 7 through 11 
The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. <clears throat> Amen. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, Amen. rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. All right, here we go. Sing along. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. be desired are they then gold, yea, then much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are pure, true, and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. For by them is thy servant born, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Praise the Lord. All right, so let's go back to yesterday's, and we'll do. Yesterday's uh, uh, scripture song, which was from Daniel 12, verse 3, for our review song today. So let's go ahead and press play here. We'll do that. Daniel 12, 3. And Amen. they that be wise, wise shall, shall shine, shine as, as the brightness of, of the firmament, firmament and, and they, they that turn many to righteousness, righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And ever. Amen. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. The brightness of the firmament, and they that turn to righteousness as the stars forever and ever, as the stars forever and ever. Amen. All right, so we're going to do today's one more time, and then we'll. Psalms 19, 7 that, through 11. The law right. of the Lord is perfect, converting, converting the, soul. the soul. The testimony, testimony of the Lord, Lord is sure, making wise is simple. simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, right. amen. Rejoicing the heart. heart. The commandment amen. of the Lord, Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes, the amen. The fear of the Lord is clean, clean enduring, enduring forever. forever. The, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous right. altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in the keeping of them there is great reward. All right, here we go. Sing it one more time. All of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple, more than be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. 
statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. More to be desired are they than gold, gave them much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, and the honeycomb. Amen. The prayer of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true, and righteous altogether. More than be desired are they than gold, gave them much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, and the honeycomb. Over by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. There is also then honey, and the honeycomb. Praise the Lord. Alright. So, that was uh, scripture songs. You can find them on the website, uh, Brother Dean and Sister Patty's webpage at www. That's uh, dailyscripturesongs.com, and this song will be playing all day long, and you can also download these uh, scripture songs or order the CDs, um, and you can also read their prayer letters and find out what's going on with them. Amen. And so tomorrow is scripture song for the 8th of June will be from Joshua 1 verse 8, and it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Amen. So that will be tomorrow's scripture song. And tomorrow's topic will be titled... Let's see here, get there. Um, it'll be titled, Professing Themselves to be Wise. So that will be tomorrow's uh, topic for the 8th of June. So I hope you'll come back tomorrow for that. And also continuing to the book of uh, Hosea in our devotional time. So um, that will about wrap it up for today. And uh, so just uh, remember you can find those scripture songs on their website. Or if you have Facebook, you can look them up and listen to them that way. Amen. And so till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. And we'll be back here in a little while for the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of Job. Amen. So I hope you'll come back uh, to watch that here in a little bit. Until then, may the Lord richly bless you and have a great and wonderful rest of your Sunday. Remember, Jesus saves. Believe on him. Amen. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.